Today I want to show you a script that converts field regions into walls. And um, on the right side I have a floor plan distribution of spaces that represent a schematic design of a plan. Uh, and sometimes designers use field regions because they are very easy to manipulate and uh, they can create design options very quickly. They don't have to create plan area plans with overlapping uh, area boundaries. Uh, there's a valid point of using field regions for schematic design uh, as long as they are simplified plan schemes. So uh, these, I had a user approach me and ask me how we can convert uh, plan regions into walls and the answer is we can do that with Dynamo. Uh, one of the challenges is that every time uh, if we use the boundaries of a plan region to create walls it will create a lot of overlapping uh, geometries. So let me show you how to do that in Dynamo. I'm just going to uh, connect that with the run command, and then you will see that here on the 3D view, I have walls on every boundary line, and this is not going to generate uh, warnings regarding overlapping walls. So let me walk you through the definition. And we start by selecting all the field regions in the view and uh, assign a uh, designated level. Then uh, we select all the geometry and we uh, construct it between solid and lines. And then <coughs> the surfaces are actually converted into solid using this uh, surface thickening node. And uh, all the solids are joined using the solid by union. And uh, then we find an intersection of that solid with the coordinate system floor plan. And what this gives me is this list of perimeter curves, which is basically the entire uh, perimeter of the jointed surfaces. The second step is to get rid of those redundant lines. And when you think about all of these rectangles, there are some of these that will be overlapping. And the way to get rid of those is just finding those that have a positive direction and uh, using uh, the angle between the vectors of those lines, I use this conditional to find what are the positive and the negative vectors and this filter by boolean mask enable me to select just the lines that have a positive direction. Um, the next step is to filter or trim the curves contained by the perimeter boundary. So, uh, and I do a little trick here, I offset the exterior boundary by a very as manifold number. And what enable me to do is to uh, find an intersection between that surface and uh, these lines. And then I get, uh, using this boolean mask uh, node, all the elements that are contained inside the boundary. And this enables me to get rid of overlapping lines that are falling outside the perimeter. And then the final step is to create a walls. I this is basically join the perimeter walls of the entire uh, joint surfaces along with all the internal lines and uh, give it a typical height and use a typical wall type. Um, I can optionally create rooms as well. Now that I have all those walls in place, I can find the centroid of this uh, solids and uh, create rooms at the same time. So let me run the definition again, and you will see here in the background that the floor plan now also display rooms. And uh, theoretically, uh, you know, I can expand it to if these the plan regions, if these field regions have some kind of parameters, I could actually move those main parameter comments inside the room as well. So to review again. Here are the inputs. This is the fill region geometry. Uh, I deconstruct between the solids and the lines. I find the perimeter boundary using extrusions and intersection of plans with uh, the solids. Uh, convert it into solid. Uh, the next step is to filter the curves of the perimeter, uh, only those that have positive directions. And then I Frame, uh, 
certain curves with the perimeter curves and find those are contained by the perimeter boundary and finally I create walls. Alright, hope you find this useful.